Hey Pisces, and welcome to your April 2018 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading for your month ahead. And wow, what an incredible, empowering month for you. I know that some of these cards look a little bit darker, but I really feel that you are um, building so much here and starting so many new cycles, so many new chapters, and even new people are being introduced in as well. I think that you are truly evolving or evolved. Um, I think your time of the year, the March 2018, was really changing. I feel like the tide shifted. I feel like you've experienced your own nature in a new way. And now you're coming into April with a much more wholesome foundation, much more wholesome sense of identity. Even if it's still sort of that process, it's there. Um, so right off the bat, I think that that's really important for you guys this month. Try to not discount yourself what you've learned or how far you've come. I feel that's like the only pretty much red flag for this month is to like take away from yourself. So Pisces can sometimes be a bit of a martyring energy um, along with Capricorn. So especially you Pisces Capricorn people, um, there can be a tendency to sacrifice yourself for others or a tendency to doubt your progress or doubt your capacity in some way. Um, don't do that this month. Don't do that. <laughs> um, anyway, I think that you guys are really um, coming into new possibilities. I sense like new career paths, new um, new spiritual connections as well, new religious connections. Some of you are actually um, maybe like on um, religious, ancient religious sites or something. I sense that maybe some of you go to um, like travel, traveling to ancient uh, Buddhist temples or something. There's something about coming into contact with very old spiritual sanctuaries or very old experiences of spirituality that feels very healing for you as Pisces does have rulership over all of these things. Um, the age of Pisces developed many religious contexts. So um, anyway, kind of just a random thing there. I do feel that this month, for those of you who aren't like uh, touring religious spaces, comes with um, a new sense of dimension with spirituality. I think that you are expanding psychic expansions. I think that um, you are becoming more psychic. Perhaps any mediumistic qualities you have have been developing. We have Jupiter retrograde in Scorpio, and we also have Neptune in your sign. And um, that makes for very psychic waters for all the water signs um, and very psychic experiences with other people as well. I also sense that there could be a, a feeling of just um, like sickness or a feeling of like toxicity within you. Most of the water signs have this right now and you are building your way out of it. It's going to be important to um, be careful and, and to be caring with your health. Try to not be with too many people um, in an intimate way. Try to not... Um, be around sick people if you can. Like, I mean, for some of you, maybe you work in that type of environment. In that case, it's fine if you're more like adapt to that um, or adept to that. It's going to be important for those of you who are not, though, to maintain a bit of solitude here um, because it would be easy, I think, for all the water signs this month to catch some, some type of cold or to even get STDs or something which is... Um, catchable because it feels like your energy is catching so much. I feel like this netting energy, like uh, you have like all of the nets out and you're like going very quickly and catching many things. So that can obviously be a wonderful thing for those of you who work in sales or for those of you who work in some type of commission based um, uh, career, you will probably make a lot of money this month. This does feel like an incredible financial month for Pisces. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles energy, King of Pentacles energy, beautiful. Five of Pentacles, yes, is there too. So there's kind of there's going to be a little bit of it on both sides. Some of you can make a lot, just have to invest it back into your business. Some of you um, may spend a bit too much or be upset about how you spend it. Do uh, give yourself that self-loving nature of knowing where your abundance goes, whether that be financial or what have you. Um, really map out how you are spending your energy, how you're spending your money, because this period of time with Mercury retrograde, um, it's easy for people to like take more from you. It's easy for you to accidentally spend too much. Um, try to not be too haphazard with what you spend. Um, other than that, I, you are seeing through illusions. Seven of Cups reversed. I'm so happy to see that for you guys. Um, Seven of Cups has been really active for Pisces lately. 
which is obviously the uh, whole, you know, seeing things which are not true or in other essence being like lied to um, and losing vision of your path to accommodate others. Um, that is being turned upside down and being drained out. So even though that can be quite a painful process, you know, with Three of Swords also being your central theme, um, it could be a breakup month for some of you if you've been in a codependent relationship for a long time. Um, it could also with Justice Reverse, that's sort of a divorce energy as well. Um, even for those of you who aren't married, like divorcing yourself of things, making it official, like officializing some type of ending in your life would be very wonderful in this month. And I think I think all Pisces should make that type of goal. It would have been even better in March. So if you did that in March, like don't force it now um, because we have come on the other side of the equinox. This is incredible beginning energy. So um, whatever you can do to start a new and by default, obviously, make the ending so that you can and officialize that, that will really see you in incredible momentum here and now. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and get into your week to week. Week number one in April, you have Seven of Cups reversed, rooted down by Queen of Cups reversed. So um, seeing something about your nature which isn't very pretty here, and that's hard for Pisces because you're so hard on yourself and very self-critical. So you've, you've seen something in the first week of April that... Um, wasn't what you wanted it to be or maybe you've um i don't know it doesn't really feel like the most wonderful energy now that i'm looking at it because you are questioning yourself you are questioning why you're the way that you are you're being very um critical it's it's not even quite the right word more like detail oriented or i can't even quite find the correct articulation there but there's something about your nature because queen of cups is a very pisces type of energy um, which is reversed as well, that you, that has fallen out of favor a little bit. And you have become quite fiery. I do feel that Pisces has, has had a strong fire expansion uh, over the last six months, honestly. And that could have really led you to kind of burn out a little bit and to like create a lot of steam, you know, when that fire and water energy comes together. So I feel like you realize how you how you tricked yourself into something how you fooled yourself with seven of cups there too there's some sort of illusion some type of lie energy um perhaps maybe you realize that somebody lied to you and you're upset at yourself for not seeing through it like maybe it feels very obvious now um try to not get stuck there for too long it's okay to see it because again pisces is such a self-oriented sign um and the integration of self with you know the other or the universe that you almost have to see what you don't like about yourself um to be honest you have to be able to see that very clearly and be able to come past it because the ego can get very caught up on this type of thing you know it can then project that onto other people and find that in other people and shred it to to pieces in them and um try to avoid that this time i feel like seeing it here in the first week and being able to walk out of this um having uh not forgiveness, but um, comfort, comfort with yourself about a part of yourself, which is not your favorite and um, almost coming to a place where you're just not really putting it into the driver's seat anymore and where you're understanding almost a deeper level of that. Like, why is this not my favorite? Why is this an aspect of me that I don't like? Is it a societal thing? Is it a reflection of somebody else that I don't like that is similar? Um, really get into those details and it should answer a lot of questions for you. Week number two, Ace of Pentacles, rooted down by Five of Pentacles. So spending, um, not necessarily money. Obviously the Pentacles suit is very connected to money and finances and material well-being. But um, I also sense it as the way that we transact ourselves, you know, whether that be our um, emotional energy or our relationship energy. It's the transaction process one way or another, um, although the swords can kind of be this as well. Um, anyway, you are making some kind of transaction in the second week, and it could be a lot more than you're expecting. So I feel that some of you may be um, financing a home, uh, applying for credits or mortgages or something like that, try to uh, stretch it out a little bit. You know, it'd be great to get out of Mercury retrograde, you know, towards the end of April, at least um, before you're making gigantic decisions. You know, if it's been working out for a long time now, that's better, but very quick decisions or very impulsive decisions relating to expenditures may not be great here and now just because it's very easy for things to get, um, 
messed up a little bit if you're not careful. Also make sure you're taking your advantages where they are because I think that that's a big thing of Five of Pentacles for me especially. It's like there can be this uh, really warm church right to your left, but it's like it's more preferable to walk through the snow because, I don't know, it's um, just not quite aligned with you or something. Be careful of disagreements or people who don't disagree with you yet at the same time can really help you in some way and then choosing to not be helped because there's some kind of disagreement there i don't know it feels like and i mean bear with me here it feels like even if you're like someone's fallen out of favor it's like you can still i don't know i kind of hate to word it this way but it's like you can still take something from them and i don't mean that in like a like a vampiristic type of way like you're going to take things from people to have some kind of advantage that they don't have but it does feel like maybe people owe you something pisces maybe people owe you money maybe you've lent money and now because um you don't like them anymore. You're like, I just want to be done with you. Forget it. You know, let them pay you back, Pisces. Let let them get and, and apply that to many different scenarios. Allow yourself to be repaid by somebody if um, they're ready to do that for you. Uh, don't be too proud to accept repayment, basically, in, in many different ways is important for Pisces this month. Um, third week, justice reversed. You're done by the hero font reversed. Oh, my God, that is so much power, so much incredible energy. And um, those cards are so similar. Uh, they're dressed so similarly. The colors are so similar. The um, posturing and uh, stature and it is so um, identical in many ways. Um, there's fairness versus fulfillment is what that says to me. And how things haven't been fair and how things have been unfulfilled is very powerful in the third week. And it's like you can take it, Pisces. You can see it. You can mold it, and you can turn it into something that is extremely potent, extremely powerful for you. Um, again, this was sort of the energy that the Hero Font reversed that was making me think of a religious type of change or a spiritual type of change. It does feel like something there may not quite be um, authentic for you anymore, so look around. Um, do you need a new type of development with um, deity or whatever it is that you work with in your life, it feels that could be important for many of you. Even a bit of time in solitude separated from this type of thing might not be bad uh, because there is something about fairness or something about people maybe from your past who also did this, who have fallen out of favor with you and that might be sort of affecting your larger vision or your larger scheme of spirituality. So it feels like a bit of time away or a bit of time um, redefining what that can be for you is very rewarding hearing now. Um, it also feels like that could be a divorce type of energy uh, for some of you. Justice reversed often does signify a divorce or some kind of separation um, of legal sense, especially with justice there. Um, try to not be too concerned about... Um, Fairness in general, I want to say. It feels like that's a very egoic thing for everybody right now. Everybody's there a little bit. Like, was that fair? Was that not fair? Do I leave this alone? Do I uh, confront it again? Um, some of you will get, like, the answer in the third week there. But some of you may try too hard and sort of blindside yourselves to... I would wait until May um, to make any big decisions about con confronting an ex or confronting... Um, somebody with like divorce papers or some sort of really big decision because again this mercury retrograde energy that is present is not the best stage for this type of thing anyway fourth week pisces king of pentacles rooted down by eight of pentacles reversed um building building uh strong foundations sturdiness uh eight of pentacles is one of my favorite cards in the tarot um it represents purpose ambition forging something which you love, um, and enjoying the time that you spend to do that. That is in the reverse for you. So some of you are just seeking that purpose. Some of you are seeking like, what is my ambition? What is my purpose? What do I need to do? And Pisces, it's so different from everybody else. Obviously you're human and you're going to have purpose and ambition. This is a very fluid thing for Pisces. This isn't something that is always super easy to define and permanent. Um, it could be changing in fact. And it could be coming in through somebody else. You could meet a masculine earth type of energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and you could be injected with a lot of purpose from them. They do something. They introduce you to something. Um, it's not bad, actually. Um, think about what your friends do. What do people around you do? And why, like, ask people to tell you stories about, like, what they've loved in their life, what they've had purpose for. How did they come there? How did they get to that purpose? What inspired them? 
that feels like a great place to start versus like seeking within yourself. Um, I know, strange for me to say, I'm always like, find it in yourself, la la la. But um, this month, I think it's good to hear other people's stories and to hear other people's um, experiences here because you have that three of swords reversed in the center in the central theme of your reading which is um, problematic if too much energy from the self is required to define all of this because your heart might be feeling a little bit wounded and you know purpose is a very heart oriented heart chakra type of experience as well as solar plexus so if your heart is feeling a little bit um, skewed um, it's going to be hard to see where your purpose is. So I feel like during this time, speak to other people about it. Um, enjoy whatever it is that you do because part of purpose is being able to enjoy where you're placed. If you can't enjoy where you're placed, even if you get to a place where you're doing what you think it is you love full time or something, it's like once you're there, this pattern of not being happy in your place will transition over into that as well. So by, I think, hearing stories from other people, by seeing how other people go about purpose, you will have a lot of light bulb moments that really prepare you to be able to take that on. And anyway, Pisces, an incredible, incredible month for you. Um, those two major arcana cards in your third week um, and your only major arcana really makes the third week of April something incredible. Look around during that time. I feel the universe, the universe is very much speaking to you then, very much um, preparing you for, a next, for another injection of energy and um, creating an atmosphere where you really can thrive. Anyway, if this reading was wonderful for you all, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the center of your screen. Also, you can uh, like and comment on this video. That makes my day. And you can check the description box. I'm on Instagram and Twitter, and there are some other links there. Um, much love, and I'll be speaking to you guys soon. Bye.